Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> My name is Dr. Joshua Baker. I'm the Senior Vice President and Chief Academic Officer here at Midwestern University. And I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2023 Midwestern University White Coat Ceremony for the Chicago College of Osteopathic Medicine and the College of Pharmacy Downers Grove. At this time, I ask that you please rise for the national anthem sung by college pharmacy first year student, Caleb Borkart. After the national anthem, please remain standing for the opening reflection delivered by Ms. Angela Marty, Senior Vice President of Administration and Communications. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Today, as we express our appreciation for these students who have chosen to join our academic family at Midwestern University, may our students find success as they embark upon this new chapter of their lives. May they absorb both the knowledge and passion of their teachers and mentors. May they treat their future patients and clients with kindness and respect. May they recognize that they are embarking on a lifelong journey of service to others. And with the guidance and support of their faculty, may they soon realize their dream of becoming healthcare professionals. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Marty. You, you may all be please be seated. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Kathleen Geppinger, President and Chief Executive Officer of Midwest University, who will deliver her opening remarks and welcome. Well, good morning, and thank you so much for being here. And I have to say, I thought your singing was beautiful, and you made all of us feel so good to kick off this ceremony. So thank you very, very much. And we're going to call on her for other things in the course of the next three years. <laughs> Anyway, welcome all of you to the White Coat Ceremony for our College of Osteopathic Medicine students who are here and our College of Pharmacy students. And I will tell you that it is absolutely a beautiful day on campus. And it's such an important day for us because the day is filled with all sorts of symbolism and importance to the healthcare community. And this morning, while we do two of our colleges, this afternoon, we're going to do this all over again for the College of Dental Medicine, the College of Health Science, and the College of Optometry. So many, many students are all first-year students, and they all get their coats at the same time. And I want to thank the families that are here. You know, we know that this is a symbolic moment for every one of our students sitting here. But it's also important for the families, because you have loved them and supported them on the journey they have wanted to take and the journey they now have started. 
So for all the families that are here, thank you so much for your guidance, your support, and as you have embarked on the journey with them. So as I said, we have been very, very blessed to, as a university to have all these students join us. And I am grateful that they have. But I'm also grateful for all the faculty that are here today and are part of this journey with all of our students. So I'm gonna ask all of the faculty of Midwestern who are here now to stand so we can say thank you to all of them for their guidance and their support as we go forward. So if our faculty would all stand. Thank you very much. I also want to thank the leadership team that's with me on the diocese today. You've already met Dr. Joshua Baker. He is our Senior Vice President, Chief Academic Officer. Ms. Angela Marty is our Senior Vice President of Administration and Communications. Dr. Daniel Tapia is here as the Vice President of Operations. Dr. Gloria Yue is the Vice President, Chief Academic Officer. And Ms. Victoria Franks is the Assistant Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And representing their two colleges is Dr. Thomas Boyle and Mr. Dr. Mitch Emerson. And if they would all stand with the rest, let's give them a welcome this morning. <laughs> now, as I started to tell you, there's symbolic things in everything that we do today. But the first symbol is the actual white coat. And it's got such an interesting history as how the white coat became part of healthcare. Because initially, before the 19th century, physicians wore street clothes or black coats, and they never put on a white coat. But at one point, they decided that they needed to integrate more of the science into the healing arts. And so it wasn't just the art of medicine, it became the art and science of medicine. And the ones who wore a white coat were those working in laboratories as scientists. So physicians started to adopt the white coat. It soon spread, by the way, to all the other healthcare professions. And today, the white coat is a symbol of someone in the health professions. And so Midwestern University was one of the very first in the entire country that started the white coat ceremonies. And we did the first one in 1997. And we did that on this campus. And we did it for only the medical students. And we only had 100 at the time. But we, had, we started with the medical students. We did it in the gymnasium, and we didn't invite family. We didn't invite friends. We just had a very small starting point. But then, interesting enough, about two, three months later, one of the pharmacy students on campus came up to me and basically said, Dr. G, how come the medical kids got the white coat, and we have to wear white coats, but we didn't get one at a ceremony? And I thought, they're right. So from that moment on, 1998, we immediately put a white coat on every single one of our first year students. And then we've expanded it because we as a university truly believe in the concept of one health. I think everybody in healthcare is dependent on another profession. So as medical doctors, you are gonna to have to refer a patient to a, a pharmacist or to a dentist or to a physical therapist or an occupational therapist. And in turn, the physician is going to make sure that the pharmacist knows their art and their science to take care of that patient properly. So you are all interdependent, which is the one health idea that we, in fact, embrace for all of our education. And so as you go into the profession, know that the people on campus are part of the team that you're always going to be serving on. And I think when you think about the purpose of the team, it's taking care of our patients. And so all of you have one goal, and that is to make sure that you give the very best patient care that you can, and you do it as a team of experts working together to help that person. The other thing I've always been asked at White Coat is why now? And especially for those of you who are sitting here saying, do, do you not know I have an exam next Monday and Tuesday? and you're nervous about it, and then you, we bring your parents, your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, and your family, and your spouses to campus, and they expect to spend time with you, and you've got the exam over your head. Well, I'll tell you that we early on decided you can't put off being a professional. You can't put off being a pharmacist or a doctor until you start seeing patients. 
You need to kind of in, engross and become that person today. And you need to make sure that in your mindset, you see yourself in the profession you want to be. You had to work so hard to get here. You know, it's very, very difficult to get a seat in our colleges. And you had to work hard at it, and you had to think about it, and you had other choices, but you made a choice to come here. And you made a choice to go on a new journey that is never going to be easy. It's always going to be tough. But the end result is what you have a dream to become. And to that point, I want to encourage all of you to always follow that dream. Because even though you may feel like it's going to be forever, it does go very quickly. And so today is when we start you on that journey. We want you to be in a white coat from today on. Think about where you're going and know that it'll change your entire life. You know, all of you have a difficult curriculum, but all of you can do it or you wouldn't be sitting in these seats today. So I want to encourage all of you to take this opportunity to learn, to be very diligent in what you learn, and be very intent on doing the very best you can. And so before I close, I want to just have a word or two with all the families that are here. You are a very important member of the journey. And I think the one thing I can tell families that I have for years and years is to show patience. You know, there are going to be dinners that are missed because they have to study. There are going to be weekends that they can't come home. There's going to be times where, you know, it's just tough to balance everything. And the one thing the families can do is show patience and love and support. And you need to be there when they're crying and you need to celebrate when they do well. And if the families can always be there when they are needed, you will make a very big difference in the next three or four years of their education. So to every family that's here, your role is so important, but take it seriously knowing that you, in fact, will make a big difference in the journey going forward. And so to all of you that are here, I want to say welcome. I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to thank you for being part of this university and giving us the support you are, and we, in turn, are committed to making all of you successful. So let's have a wonderful white coat and enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Geppinger. The students will now be coded by their college representatives. We will begin with the Chicago College of Osteopathic Medicine, followed by the College of Pharmacy, Downers Grove. You can find the names of the announcers and coders for each college in the program. Now coding the Chicago College of Osteopathic Medicine. When I read your name, please step forward. Sarah Abu Kamal. Dakota Adamek. Marisa Edelman. Umar Aftab. Ariba Ahmed. Muhammad Faizan Ahmed. Nur Selin Akbulit. <laughs> Ashley Akrami. Seal Alashkar. 
Arsalan Alvi. Lejo Andrews. Alex Anil. Brady Antelik. Gianna K. Apadorado. Lauren Orsinas. And Anya Athen. Asim Awad. Roger Axtell. Colin Bartolotta. Ashley Bars. Ross Bars. Max Batchelder. Samantha Bierman. And Paul Bellissimo. David Billings, Emma Birch, Elizabeth Boyer, Kelly Brake, Jacob Canfield, Mark Cardellino, Scott Carney, Malika Carey, Isabella Chow, Benjamin Chatwin, Zane Chowdhury, Arushi Chaham, Justin Chen, Hannah Cho, Noah Cho, and Eric Chow. Elizabeth Chu, Christina Chung, Zach Coates, Caitlin Copa, Sarah Corcoran, Samaya Danthurthy, Eliza Davis, and Lucas Tobias.
Jacob Draves. Aditya Butt. Brandon Eichler. Amr Elford. Aiden Fowler. Sarah Farnan. Helen Fisher. And Claire Fitzgerald. Christine Flanagan, Katie Flannery, Daryl Forney, Kathleen Fortune, Samantha Frakes, Isabel Friend, Haley Fuller, and Bonnie Ganesh. Eric Gasset, Tracy George, Joseph Gawergis, Michael Ganame, Andrew Giannakopoulos, Duncan Gumbar, Takea Griffin, and Vishru Gupta. Samantha Gusick, Edmund Haddad, Rachel Hanna, Michelle Hiang, Tucker Huppy, Darren Ikeda, Ahmed Imran, and Frank Adeli. Jonathan Isban, Fahim Joffrey, Christina Kafkis, Barry Kaplan, Joss Karamori, Nicholas Kathrine, Daniel Kaufman, and Patrick Keith.
Bilal Khawaja. Kelsey Karnosik. Muta Koloki. Laith Kittis. Elizabeth Kim. And Casey King. Kelly Konasek. Bavesh Reddy Coppola. Matthew Lagerstrom, <laughs> Hannah Lansbury, <laughs> Yu Chan Lee, <laughs> Mingya Alice Lee, <laughs> John Liebert, <laughs> Marit Lyon, <laughs> Kyle McDonald. And Justin Magnus. Ishana Maney, <laughs> Ahmad Malik, Grace Maloney, Claire Manhard, Ajay Minocha, Michael John Manuel, Anila Matthew, and Kelly McGowan. Luke Meyer, and Peter Meyer, Renata Milani, Imad Mir, Emily Mitchell, Jake Metrius, Ali Moinadeen. And Olivia Moran. Zachary Moser, <laughs> Sidharth Nair, <laughs> Mark Nagel, <laughs> Emily Nelson, <laughs> Clara Nimmer, <laughs> Samantha Newman. Caitlin Nikolai and Remo Day.
Rachel Olson. August Ortworth. Reuben Park. Jill Patel. Kajal Patel. Pyle Patel. Shivani Patel. And Shivani S. Patel. Jordan Paterno. <laughs> Alyssa Patty. <laughs> Alyssa Paul. <laughs> Catherine Pfeiffer. <laughs> Carolyn Pinkerman. <laughs> John Plunkett. Joseph Christian Paskin and Mahima Rajesh. Daniel Ray, Isabella Reacher, Anjana Reddy, Tiffany Regeer, Amanda Ree, Andrew Rifkin, Luisa Rodriguez. And Marcus Russell. Samuel Ryabov, Marwa Salu, Haifa Sahuri, Marian Solik, Karen Saluja, Yuvin Suravinin. Andrew Sayers, and Gitanjali Scarf. Shaheen Shanvas, Arjun Sharma, Yashika Shekhar, 
Juliet Shelton. Ailey Snapko. Thomas Staskis. Kaylee Amelia Stowe. And Diada Dean Suleiman. Masuma Sultan. <laughs> Millie Sun. <laughs> Eric Swarski. <laughs> Michael Sevchek. <laughs> Sunjana Tamane. <laughs> Rosalind Thuddle. Brenna Thibodeau, and Selena Tian. Rhea Tamar, <laughs> Alice Ann Trosel, <laughs> Faris Udin, <laughs> Ismihan Udin, <laughs> Rijo Uruguth, <laughs> Pranay Vidopoli, <laughs> Abhishek Venkat Raman, and Chetna Venkatraman. Matthew L.P. Wang. <laughs> Devin Wygant. <laughs> Susan Westman. <laughs> Mary Whiteside. <laughs> Julian Wilborn. <laughs> Isaac Woods. And Hidaya Yahia. Yeah! And Shu and Chen Yu. Closing for CCOM, Adam Zechariah. <laughs> Victoria Zapatka. <laughs> Jasmine Jai. <laughs> and Aaron Zoe.
now quoting the College of Pharmacy, Downers Grove. Amjad Abdul Rahman, Sharon Abraham, Sarjud Abu Ali, Cameron Egai, Janine Ahmad, Abdul Qadir Ajaj, Brianna Alex. Heya El Ramahi. <clears throat> Ali Al Wan. Karthik Amin, Sarah Bacchus, Abrar Beg, Jamie Bear, Akanksha Bhatt, Kaylee Borkart, Ethan Calderon. Frank Carnivali, Saul Casas, Carlos Julian Centeno, Joanna Cho, Elizabeth Davidoff, Frija Demazo, Andy Didovich, Chanel Ibiza. Nora Elias, Zacharia Esmahi, Eleni Figos, Natalie Ferrufino, Alexis Flamboris, Dave Gandhi, Taylor Glenn, Ketsialis Gonzalez. Kimberly Gonzalez, Sophie Gonzalez, Aaron Hamzarai, Kimberly Harrison, Kennedy Holloway, Emily Horsley, Cannon Huffman, Gamila Hujaji.
Nicole Jacob, Colin Gintet, Bethany Joy Tabernia Jimenez, Mohammed Juma, Dominic Calabat, Justine Kaminsky, Catherine Keller, Lauren Kempf. Nima Keshta. Rita Koshaba, Georgina Kifarkis, Lexus King, Emma Ku, Nikesh Kumar, Matthew Lobsher, Justin Lee. Fatima Mahavsa, Alison Muharin, Rahi Manik, Dania Maru, Yusuf Maru, Smriti Marwaha, Walid Masood, Michael McClure. <laughs> Kelly Miniskin. Cassandra Munoz, Yusuf Nason, Jasmine Nava, Timothy Andunda, Jennifer Nee, Charlotte Nielsen, Yvonne Ogunlade. Kenji Uriel Okudera, Mary Andreka, Bayan Othman, Elizabeth Pei, Isha Patel, Himali Patel, Marissa Patel. Megha Patel. <clears throat> Neil Patel. 
Santina Pata, Iman Kasmia, Alina Ravi, Ahmad Rahman, Yasmin Ramirez, Diego Rosso Gonzalez, Logan Roth. Iman Shelby, Maha Sheikh, Natalia Stefanovska, Christina Stupakova, Crystal Terry, Grace Timpy, Jude Tuma, Noor Tuma. Larissa Van Pelt, Justin Wicks, Ryan Williamson, Paige Willman, Yasmin Zara. Dr. Geppinger will now administer the Oath of Commitment. The oath can be found on the first page in your program. Will the students please rise? Thank you, Dr. Baker. So I want you to read this with me. Don't have me read it to you. And I want you to say it with conviction. Make sure it's loud enough that they maybe can hear us up on 31st Street. And I want you to just think about, in the days to come, the commitment and the oath that you took today. But I want you to be ready, and we'll get started. As I embark upon my course of study at Midwestern University, I will enter into a relationship of mutual respect with my teachers, my colleagues, to enhance the learning environment and to gain the knowledge and skills and aptitudes of a healthcare provider accept responsibility only for those matters which I am confident, maintain the trust expected of a health care provider, and never take advantage of the patient-provider relationship, respect the patient's right to privacy, value the knowledge and wisdom of the health care professionals who have preceded me, and endeavor to contribute to their tradition, recognize my weaknesses and strengths, and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respect of my patients, my colleagues, my family, and myself, and continue this learning throughout all the days of my life. You can now be seated. This is such an important day in your careers. And I talked about the journey, I talked about the symbolism, and I hope you recognized that you were being invited into a profession, into the osteopathic profession, into the pharmacy profession, by your own faculty that coded you. 
That was your invitation to learn, to do well, to really engage in your academic work, because then you'll be really great providers when you see your patients. And until then, I want you to realize that this journey, while it may seem endless at this moment, and I know you're facing exams and lots of concern, the truth is it's a short journey. For our pharmacy students, it's three years. And you have a very intense curriculum for three years. And so you need to really embrace that opportunity, knowing that you're gonna be doing a great deal of good for people as soon as you graduate. And to all the medical students, I know you don't do clinicals until the end of your second year and third year, but you've got the opportunity to learn everything you can in two years because you will apply it to every patient you see going forward. So take this opportunity. Your faculty are inviting you into a profession. Take it and embrace it. And believe me, it goes fast. I have students that come to me at graduation and they say, how did four years go by? How did three years go by? It's fast because you've got so much to do and so much to learn. But in the meantime, enjoy it and have fun along the journey. It's an opportunity to get to know colleagues, friends that may be with you for the rest of your life. So take the opportunity and make sure that you have fun along the way. And to all the families that are here, thank you for being here today. Thank you for trusting us with the education of your loved one. And believe me, we're gonna do everything we can to make them successful. So have a wonderful time and look at that white coat. And if you get discouraged, put it on and look in the mirror. And you know why you're doing it. But anyway, thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Gebbiger. Would everyone please stand for the closing reflection given by Ms. Angela Marty? As we conclude this very special day, let us remind our students that the entire Midwestern University community stands by your side. Our dedicated faculty, staff, and administrators are committed to guiding you through your rigorous coursework and clinical experiences. We are here for you as you face new challenges, embrace new opportunities, and build new friendships. We also extend our heartfelt appreciation to the families and friends whose love, sacrifice, and support have made it possible for you to reach this important milestone. And most of all, we look forward to coming together again to watch you walk across this stage as proud graduates of Midwestern University. On behalf of the entire university, we thank you for attending and once again congratulate our students. This ceremony is now brought to a close. Please enjoy the remainder of your day on campus. Thank you. Thank you.